It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Today we've got exhibition baseball between the Boston Red Sox and the Houston Astros. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Matt, have you seen this guy throw? Oh, he is electric. What do you got to do against him? I think you got to attack him early. He's just too overpowering. His stuff is electric. He's got one of those great power arms that we'll talk about for years to come. You got to take it to him before he takes it to you. Derek Lowry, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, we're watching a guy who's the reigning champion of the Cy Young in the American League last year. He's the American League Cy Young Award winner. That speaks volumes to his stuff and how he gets himself ready for games. He's always prepared. Lineups are afraid of him. And regardless if he's having a good outing or not, the stuff carries. So I want to see him have a good outing today. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Astros. And yes, they move players all over the field. They love to shift heavily into the analytics and really apply it to their club. You'll see guys moving all over the field today. Number 70 play. is into the ball this game now as he assumes Astros. duties in center now field. Center field, number 70. Here's Brock Holt now. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Boston, the designated hitter, number 30. Underway at the ballpark this afternoon as the first pitch is in there for strike one. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Well, he finds himself down 0-2, but you know what? He looked at the first two pitches, but they're different pitches, both down, good pitchers' pitches. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And he missed with it. It's 1-2. and two. And just a chamber of commerce afternoon for baseball. 82 degrees here at first pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. I think he kind of trained the hitter's eyes in that at bat. What I mean is you'll find the first three pitches are all down around the knee. So as a hitter, he's probably looking down there again, and that's the perfect time to raise his sights and make a good pitch up. Stepping in now, Betts. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch takes a knee high fastball. Well, if you're wondering if he's going to be loose for this game, there's our answer 98 in the first inning. He's going to be coming right after. Now here's the pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Hey, not a bad pitch right there on 0 and 2, a fastball. And I think as a hitter right now, you have to continue to go up there looking to hit off the fastball. And here's a ball hit in the air. Number 30 in foul ground. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting third, first baseman number 23. Adrian Gonzalez. Here's Adrian now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. A called hey. strike to the 35 year old veteran. Nothing in one. I like that curveball right there. You know he's setting fastball. He wants to ambush one, jump it right out of the yard, and you drop the curveball on him. Got an 0 1 count. The wind up and the 0 1 pulls this one into the air out into right field. Lee is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. And now the Astros will go to work for the first time. No score.
Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. What's the key to a home victory, Harold? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know I don't use many cliches. I would have to say have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. Chris Sale gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. Harold, what do you got? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. Okay, let's take a look at the defense for the Boston Red Sox, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down at third base, Pablo Sandoval. You know, he's an interesting story. When he first came up, I don't know many people realized he was a catcher. Then they converted him to third base because he had those cat-like reflexes that could cover everything. He's gotten a little slower as he's gotten older, but there's still a little genie in the bottle. See if he can open it. Stepping in, Gary Cox. It'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. And this is low, ball one. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Now here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. And now this is bobbled out in center, and he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Oh, the changeup executed nicely, and he's still got a ground ball. He got the base hit. He got his ground ball. He did everything he wanted to do. Sometimes it just doesn't work out for you. set and the pitch swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level oh and one here it comes well, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now it's oh and two <laughs> I'll tell you if I'm on the hill I'm throwing that change up again didn't look like he picked it up very well out of his hand He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Outside. Just a touch outside. One and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0 2 fastball just off the corner. And I mean just off the corner. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. He's set. Here's the 2-2. A swinging bunt to the mound. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Batting third, right fielder. Now with the plate, Michael, Michael Lee. Lee. First trip to the plate for him in this one, and it's a good RBI spot, too. Leadoff man at third with one down. First offering on its way. 4-1. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. You know, Jansen's a guy that's not worried about all the metrics. He's going to call his zone. And if you're pounding the ball in one spot, he's going to call it, particularly off the plate. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down, one and one. Now that's a good changeup right there. You know the guy's sitting fastball. You get him out in front. Now that changeup's in his head the rest of the at-bat. And he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You can see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Set to deliver on two and one. Hit hard up the middle. 
And a base hit, and that's going to chase in the run from third. The Astros are off to a 1-0 lead. Well, Matt, they're getting to him early. First inning run, that RBI on in that base hit. Third, take take it to him because you Number know once three. he settles in, he's going to dominate the game. And he'll snap one over to first. And he's back standing. Into the box now, number three. In the dirt here, and a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Now we'll step off and fire to the bag. And the runner back. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Takes a high fastball for a strike. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball's put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double play is going to be tough. Even getting one out could be a challenge. Here it comes on one and one. There he goes. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag. But the runner's back easily. Runner at first here, one man out. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Good job by the catcher to keep the ball from getting too far away and allowing that base runner to get into scoring position. That keeps the double play in order, which they need, seeing as they've already given up one run in this inning. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Batting fifth. Catcher. Show. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring in a former batting champion, catcher Joe Maurer. First offering on its way. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Here's the 0 1. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Oh, he got out in front of a change. He's looking for a fastball right there because he got the bat head so far out he was able to pull it. If that was a fastball, he might have kept it fair. Little dribbler up the first baseline. But that one rolls foul. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Now, an off speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. Sale sets. 2 2 pitch on its way. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Matt, I like the last two pitches a changeup and then a fastball. And he's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now, and that's an advantage to the pitcher. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away. And it's still folded three and two. Another payoff pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. A runner on first with two away.
And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Astros plate one on a couple of hits. On to the second inning now for Minute Maid Park. The Astros on top, one to nothing. Settling in now, Romando Miranda. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Miranda. Into the windup and the pitch. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone. And then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bat head out. Here's the panda now. Pablo Sandoval. First pitch on its way. And that one right down Main Street. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Bounce to first. Scooped up, and a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting six. Second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the former MVP, second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Low of the fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hey. Uh, high fastball is in there. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one soft liner to the right side and that is in there for a two out base knock so a two out knock and we'll go a little deeper into the top of the second well we see a lot of line drives from this guy but because he keeps that bat in the plane so long he picks up cheap hits like this soft liner he's just a good hitter Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Oh, and one. Here it comes. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone-cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. And he just manages to get his hand in.
Here's the one and one delivery. And they pitch out here, but no movement from Pedroia. Two out with the man at first. Hey. Taken. Strike two called, and it's even at two and two. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Another 2-2 offering. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full 3-2. and two. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. He's set. Here's the 3-2. and two. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. This pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. He did not Having want to eight. let the hitter off the hook Short with two stop. outs, and now John he's got a runner in scoring McGill. position to deal with. Now in the box, John McGill, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First delivery to him on the way. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Matt, this is where I like this guy pitching. First and second, he's got two outs. He's got himself a little bit of a jam, but now he likes to paint the corners. Watch him fight himself out of this situation. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Yep, Off the out. plate, one ball, one strike. Here's the 1-1. One, one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch that he can hit one out of the park on. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Breaking ball taken right down the middle. That's so difficult to hit. Hard fastball and a nasty curveball. You just have to sit on one or the other and hope he throws the one you're looking for. Two men are on with two men out. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. The payoff pitch one more time. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. Boston strands a couple. They're down one nothing. Stepping up now, number 30. He stands Leading in for the first Astros. time in this one. First baseman, number 30. Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh and one count and the pitch and that slider is almost in the dirt 
Now that was a good pitch to lay off. When it starts on the outside half of the plate, that slider right there, you know it's going to continue to run off the plate. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one, two. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. Two strike changeup, and he was able to foul it off just enough to fight it off to get another pitch. That's a tough pitch to hit with two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. McGill backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Batting seventh, the shortstop, Carlos Correa. Into the box, Carlos Correa. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. Hey, that's a good pitch right there. But, you know, as a base stealer, when you're in the box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet. So he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner. Two and one. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. But it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Ooh, good changeup. Just missed inside. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count, and the ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. Albert Pujols is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1-0. Oh. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Now a snap throw to first. Runner back standing. Runners on first with one down. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now we'll step off the rubber and go to first. And he's back easily. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. And he'll snap one over to first. Don't want to forget about him. Runner at first here, one man out. And another snap throw to the bag, keeping particularly close tabs on him. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. Runners on first with one down. And another foul ball.
A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. And now Albert sends a high drive. He got a lot of it to deep left field. It's up and out of here into the archways. Albert Pujols, a two-run shot, and the Astros have taken a three-to-nothing lead. Well, it's only spring training, but this is the kind of swing that makes you anxious for the season to start. Track the ball all the way and just exploded on it for a homer. He looks ready. Batting ninth. Into the Second box, baseman. David Lee. David and Lee. he hits it hard to the right side. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Well, they pick Left something fielder. up. They're just ambushing him. First pitch swinging, aggressive, and the scoring runs is paying off for him. Standing in now, Gary Cox as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline, so if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Here comes the 0-1. Pitch out. Ball, Nothing doing. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Here comes the one-two from Sale. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Line drive to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. Well, we always expect him, if he's got two hits in the hit column, something's going to be over the board. No but hey, he'll take Number two singles. Not complaining. Striding in once again, number 70. And it seems like maybe they're starting to get to the guy on the mound a bit now. Yeah, that could be a sign that he's starting to wear down a little bit, Matt. The first thing to go when you're getting tired is usually your command. So even if you're throwing strikes, they might be a little bit more hittable than they were earlier in the game. All right, something to keep an eye on if he remains in the game much longer. First offering on its way. A fastball that just misses inside. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but... Now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself in bad counts. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. 1-0 pitch is a circle change. It runs outside 2-0. And now after those consecutive hits, he's either tickling or starting to lose control of the strike zone, finding himself in a very dangerous situation here. And I do think he's getting tired now. Could be his last hitter here. The 2-0 and pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Oh, well, Matt, look, it's real simple. If you don't throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues, you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if he wants to have any chance. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And this one is gone. A home run. So a three-run blast to deep center here as they pile on. It's now six to nothing.
Well, unfortunately, I think we sort of saw this coming. We were just talking about how they were starting to get some good swings off of him. Got a couple of hits in a row, and then bang, a big home run here. I think that's got to be the end. Digging in to now, try it again. Michael Fielder. Lee. And Michael the starter remains out Lee. there despite just allowing the long ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping when you're fatiguing a little bit. So I can't see him being out there much longer. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. One, one out, nobody on. And a strike to even the count. One and one pretty adamant about working him inside right now back to back fastballs and that one was able to find the zone now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now set to deal on a ball and two strikes there's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field bets ranging back gone back to back homers a solo shot here to straight away right field as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Yeah, we were just talking about the last home run possibly being a sign that he was running out of gas, and now he serves up another. I just don't think he's got the same sharpness or command on his pitches that he had earlier, and they're making him pay for it. Number 28 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. In now, number, number three. three. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. The wind up and the 0 1. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strikes. You think he stays out there? I think he does. One thing you don't want to do, though, Matt, it's not a good idea to throw the same hitter, the same pitch three times in a row, back to back to back, but I think he might throw it here. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. And the 0-2 here is fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Betts on the move. He can't get there in time. And now it hops over the wall for a ground a rule double. Yeah, he was boating around oh. those bases and had every Four. intention of stretching this into a triple. That is until the ball hopped over the fence for a ground rule double. So here's Joe Maurer. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The 1-0 now to Maurer. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. Not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. A shot down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. The one two home to Maurer. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. He's ready with the two two pitch. 
Now a swing and a chance for the gold glover Gonzalez over at first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Hey, not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number 30. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. From the stretch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and you wonder about the control now as he misses high with a slider. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0-2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. Now a ball rolled softly to second. He's got to hurry. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Well, that's called smell on the base hit right there. He beats out an infield single. Not everybody hustles out of the box, but he darn sure knew he better, and he did. Correa. Into the box now. Carlos Correa as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. One oh count here it is. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Seven runs have crossed the plate in the inning. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ball three. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Three and one. This guy, whoo, he's a good hitter. This is the kind of count gets him excited. Three and one, here it is. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. As a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is worse than having to battle not only the hitter, but the umpire as well. He didn't get some of the calls there, but there's nothing he can do about that now. Just got to go right after the next guy. Here's Albert now. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Comes set with the 0-1. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. Albert Poole with a three-run homer. His second of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. Well, balls are flying out of here faster than they can throw them across the plate, it seems. That's four home runs in this inning alone. It's times like this when pitchers wonder if maybe they've chosen the wrong profession. Their pitching coaches start wondering, too. Up next for the Stepping Astros. in now, David Lee. As he'll take a look at Lee. ball one. A base hit in his first trip. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. 
fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. and This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Too high, and it's 3-0. and From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Here comes the 3 1 pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Into the box now. Gary Cox, couple of singles to his credit thus far. From the stretch, sharp slider that time, just missed inside. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Up ball. top, it's 2-0. and oh. Matt, this is where that guy on first base is distracting the pitcher. I guarantee you, he's down 2-0. and oh. He's not focused on the hitter. This is where you get hurt. I love it when a guy on first can run. Now a snap move over to first, and he'll get back in safely. Here he comes on 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. He's set. Here's the 3-0. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Right about now, now the manager's questioning his decision 70. to bring this guy in. If you can't trust a reliever to throw strikes, you can't trust him at all. We'll see if he comes to get him sooner than later. Digging in and looking for more, number 70. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Aye. Fastball in there for a called strike. Man, I think he's trying to send a message right here. I'm going to challenge you. I like my stuff. I think I'm better than you. I don't care how good a hitter you are. And this guy's a good hitter, by the way. But he came right after him early in the count. 0-1 oh, pitch on its way. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. And even 10 runs have scored this half inning. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. He's set, and the two-one pitch. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. Oh, and this one's driven the other way and deep to the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Well, that got him in the rocking chair right now. A little change-up follow-up with the fastball. He's a little late with that swing. I may go back with another change-up. Ready with another 2-2. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. And that misses. Ball four, and he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. That's a big no-no. He obviously right, had to work Gilbert, carefully with two eight. men on, but he did not want to walk him to load Lee. the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Digging in once again, Michael Lee. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, and he turns another one around here. And his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run.
So he will touch them all on the Grand Slam, his second home run of the game, as the blowout continues. Now, I'm excited to check the home run numbers that come out on show track because that was just one of the most impressive launches we've seen in a good while. And as the numbers come in, that ball was projected to have carried over 460 feet. An amazing show of strength. Now batting. Standing in now, number three. Number three. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. One and no pitch on the way. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Two out, nobody on. Slap hard the opposite way. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. A beautiful day here in the Space City as we're all set for the third inning in this one on MLB Network. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally Jackie they need to get Bradley one or two of these runs Jr. back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by the opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. There's a breaking ball over the outer half. And Bradley swings and misses at that offering, and he's deep in the hole, 0-2. He threw that ball right by him. When you got a guy throwing that hard, you got to really just think about using your hands and just spread out and let your hands fly. They're going to be quicker than your bat is going to get to the ball. And a neck-high fastball that time. Ready on one and two. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch on two and two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. I really liked it. He gave up, up nibbling the out of the zone trying to get in the chase. Hitter. That wasn't working Rock. so he just reached Hold. back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. Here's Brock Holt now as he takes a fastball Inside, off the one. plate for a ball one and oh. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. 3 and 0 now. Three balls, no strikes. And a good comeback there. It's 3 and 1. Well, he made a nice adjustment. That was a nice pitch right there, 3 0. Now puts a count 3 1. That was the same pitch he threw 2 and 0 and missed on it and got the ball called. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Now batting. Number 50. Ready for another chance. Bets. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. The 0 1 on its way. And a fastball just a bit up.
Maurer sets up. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. That's a nice spot down below the knees, but that's a low call. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Lee is after it, and that's the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting number 23, first baseman Adrian Gonzalez. Here's Adrian now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And that misses inside 1 and 0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Well, I like that, taking that strike right there. Look, he's already walked a couple guys early. He's not throwing the ball consistently in the zone. You have to be patient and make him work. Here's a look over to first and the runner back safely. Ready to deal. Here's the one one squared that one up just a little late. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And oh, a little slippery back there as Maurer lets this ball get away from him. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well, the intent there with that two strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up free bases. All even at two and two. Here it is. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Rolando Miranda would be next. Two out here and a runner at second. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. The next 3 2. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. Red Sox leave one. Start the bus. They're down 15 to nothing. So here's Joe Maurer. He'll lead things off as they look Leading to perhaps build on an already sizable Astros. lead. Show. And now pitch on the way. Hard hit ball to second. And this will get through into right. And he's aboard with a single. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. He was sitting on that fastball. You can't tell me he was at first 30. pitch fastball and he turned on it like that. Nice job. In now, number 30, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. One oh count, here it is. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher.
gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And this will kick off the wall out near the 315 sign. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. Into the box now, Carlos Correa. This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. And out of here, and I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field as this lead got even wider. It's getting pretty comical now. Their sixth home run of the game, and they're not done yet. They say hitting is contagious, and apparently that applies to the long ball. It's looking like batting practice out there. Now Here's batting. Albert now. A designated hitter, Albert. As he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. Man, he's flirting with danger. He gave up a home run on that very same pitch. And this time he comes right back with it in another dangerous location. He better be careful. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Three runs already home here. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. And a great pitch there as Pujol swings and misses, and it's always a sigh of relief when you can set him down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has now good wheels batting. off base, Second and that's just what they did right there. David Big strikeout, Lee. keep that guy off the base path. Stepping in now, David Lee. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Bradley racing back. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now batting. Left fielder, Gary Cox. Ready for another shot now. Gary Cox. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Into the windup and the pitch. Looking at a tough pitch called the strike. Well, there's a strike looking, but you know what? They've been so patient. They're leading in this game, I think, because of their discipline at the plate. They're not swinging at balls out of the zone. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Well, you knew it was coming. That's a standard two-strike high fastball, and he executed it. But i got to give you credit, man. He fouled that ball off. Nice job of hitting it. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. they got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. Astros lead this one 18 to nothing. 
Digging in for his second at bat, Armando Miranda. He's 0 for 1 Armando thus far. Miranda. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. One and one. Everybody knows he's got that fastball up in the hundreds. Man, you just got to get yourself ready to let it fly. Get your hands through the zone as quick as you can. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game right now, though. You got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for them. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Boy, oh boy, that's a tough one for the pitcher. He's definitely wondering where the heck was that pitch? I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. Here's the Panda now. Pablo Sandoval comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. No runs, just one hit and one error on the Boston line score. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Now batting number 50. You always want to see the curve break a lot, but this one breaks a little bit too much, comes all the way across the plate and nicks the batter. At the plate, Dustin Pedroia. One for one after a single his first time up. First offering on its way right over the middle knee high. I like the aggressiveness Matt. He hits the batter then he comes right back with the fastball and says dare you to hit it. I'm coming after you. Aye. Called strike 0 and 2. Uh, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Now batting, catcher, Yasmani. Here's the catcher, Grandal. Yasmani Grandal. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Oh, a double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Your Henry Owens late. gets the call to pitch the here, Red and he'll Sox. try to sort this Number mess out. 76. He's going to try to at least Henry eat a couple of innings Owens. for his guys. Ready once again. Number 70 Leading off comes in one Astros. for two with that home run Center he hit earlier. Number 70.
And he lays off there 1-0. One zero count. Here it is. Ball Two and zero. Oh. Here he comes on two and zero. Oh. Oh, they Three get him off balance there as he reaches for that one, but can't find it. It's two and one. Safe to say he was fooled by that pitch. He was completely off balance in every way. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Grounded back up the middle. And Pedroia will stretch, but it's into center field for a base hit. So the fourth inning opens with a leadoff single. Now this was crazy. He throws a fastball by him, then he comes back with an off-speed pitch. My question is, why are you speeding up his bat? Into the box, Michael Lee, and he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Here comes the 1-0. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. On 2-0, you can bet he's looking for a fastball that he can turn on and drive. Might be thinking about picking on that big hole between first and second. Two and one now. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. set here's the 3 1 and that swung on and fouled straight back ready to deliver the full count pitch just stand alive putting together a really good at bat here rip down the first baseline Full extension, but he can't make the catch. That's strike one. Here comes the payoff pitch. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left his third home run of the ball game as they just continue to pour it on here. We'll talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hat trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in the baseball game. Now Standing in now, number, number three. three. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Swing and a high pop up back onto the outfield grass now. McGill is camped under this one and he's got it for out number one. The That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch Joe up in the zone. They took Moore. him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Into the box now. Joe Maurer as he'll take a look at the pitch too low it's ball one he's working on a one for three thus far and this one misses again to Maurer two and oh now 
Well, that pitch wasn't even close. And now that was an easy take. Now he's locked in. You're sitting there 2 0. Get real specific. Make him throw you your pitch. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Number 30 is on deck. Bases are empty, one man out. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. Now batting, number 30. Striding into the box, number 30. Two for three with a double on his line so far. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Now we'll step off and fire to the bag. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. And another snap throw to the bag, keeping particularly close tabs on him. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit hard back up the middle. Pedroia on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Astros lead it 20 to nothing. Luis Rodriguez makes his way toward the mound now as he'll appear in his sixth ball game of the spring. Rodriguez. Stepping up to the plate, John Leading McGill. For 0 for 1 for Short him here stop. in this one. John McGill. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Chopped weakly to the left. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Number 25. A look at our line score here Jackie through the first Bradley four. Jr. And as we've mentioned, just one hit for these guys this afternoon. Into the box now, Jackie Bradley Jr. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. The wind up and the 0 1. Here's a oh, fastball that crowds him a bit and it's 1 and 1. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Lifted the other way to left center. Center fielder on the run, and that's the second out of the inning. How about him? Designated hitter. Brock Holt. Digging in, Brock Holt comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the windup and the pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close, it's a ball and no strikes. No runs, just one hit and one error on the Boston line score. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. Three and oh now. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one two three. 
And they remain well, well behind. Clay Buckholz gets the call now to pitch here, Boston, and he'll try to sort this mess out. 11. He's going to try to at least Clay eat a couple Buckholz. of innings for his guys. Trying to pick things up Leading where he left Astros. off. Carlos Correa. He'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And the pitch. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Betts racing back. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game as the blowout continues. Everybody has heard of a hitter punishing a curve or a slider that just hangs. Well, this was a cutter. It just hangs right there out over the heart of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Can't leave a pitch like that to a professional hitter. Well, you can, but that's what you get. Now batting, but designated hitter. Here's Albert, Albert. now. As the first oh, pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. The 1 0 delivery. That misses 2 0. Talk about certain guys in the lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. And now the Red Sox will get a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. The 2 0 home now to Albert. And this is fouled at the plate. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw not in time, and he's in there with his third hit of the afternoon. Well, that's his third hit of the game, and I know infield single, but he doesn't care. Man, three hits in a ball game, he'll take it. Now at the plate, David Lee. He's one for two in the ball game. A look to first by Buckholz, back in standing. He's set, here it comes. Nope. And that one stayed too low, apparently. One oh count, here it is. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. Well, on the mound, he hasn't looked comfortable since the moment he came in out of the pen. Just not fluid with his delivery at all. Two and oh count. Here it comes. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Two oh count. You're looking for your pitch. He does a nice job. Got a pitch. Drove now it. Batting. Got the base hit to Left the outfield. Fielder, Gary Cox. In now, Gary Cox, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. So far, two for three in this one. A one pitch on its way. And a curveball that started low and broke lower, ball one.
Here's Buckholtz on one and one. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. First and second here with nobody out. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Drill down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. Hack on another here as the runner scores from second. Well, that ball's hit hard right there, and it should be no surprise. That's what happens when you find fall behind 3-1 in a 70. count. You know you got to throw a fastball. You're probably going to get hit hard. Stepping in now, number 70. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. The 0 1. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. That's in there. Base hit. Lee rounds the corner and is headed home. In to score, the runner from second. Michael right, Lee will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. Here's the first pitch to him. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. The 0 and 1 delivery. That's taken for a ball, and it's 1 and 1 now to the Astros right fielder. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. We might be in for a light show. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Oh, and it's off the foul pole in right for a home run. Three run home run down the line in right is fourth in the ball game as this lead got even wider. Four home runs in a game. Now, there's some guys that have done it, and it is an impressive feat. But I remember Josh Hamilton's four home runs in Baltimore one night. That was incredible. Well, this fits right there. Four home runs in one game, something he will never forget. Now batting, number three. Standing in now, number three. And she'll take a look at ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hey. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. Well, giving up hits is one thing, but judging by that last pitch, he doesn't have any consistency with his release point right now. He doesn't know where it's going, and he knows it. Here's the 2-1. Popped up. And Pedroia looks this one in for out number one. The catcher, number 13, Joe Mauer. So here's Joe Mauer. It was a walk in his last trip. There's the cut fastball, but it's low, 1-0.
the 1 0 now to Maurer. Lays off the fastball the way, and it's 2 0. Buckholtz now on 2 0. 3 0 now. Three and zero pitch on its way. That one's in there. Three and one. He's set. Here's the three one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And he'll reach second now with one away. Wow, he puts a serious charge into this ball. Ends up splitting the two outfielders. Bangs Number up against 30. the wall in right center. And he cruises into second knowing he can't hit the ball much harder than that. Into the box now. Number 30 as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. The 1 0 pitch. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2 0. Here it comes 2 0. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Carlos Correa looks like he'll get a second shot here in the inning. He waits on deck. He's set. Here's the three zero. Oh. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. So it's a two run shot to right center as they just continue to pour it on here. Well when a manager talks about hitting being contagious that is exactly what we're talking about. One guy tees off and the guy behind him starts to feel a little bit more confident a little bit more focused. The next thing you know you've got three home runs in an inning and your entire offense is off and running. Now batting. In now Carlos, Carlos Correa, Correa and his confidence has to be in a really good place right now having already launched two balls over the fence in this one. Scorch to third. Throw gets him at first, and that was a magnificent play. Hey, great reactions on that one, and a good job to get down on the ground in time to smother it. Still had to get up and make the throw, and of course, he did that too. Stepping in now. Albert Pujols as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one two home runs already to his name in this one and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Here's the 1 0. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Eight runs already in this inning. Outside two and one. He's set and the two one pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball.
the 3-1 now to Albert. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Ready now, David Lee. He's looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. At first is Pujols, the pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. A runner on first with two away. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. One and one. Here it comes. Here's a high pop-up. Gonzalez is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Big inning for them, though, as they bat around and score eight times to open up this lead even further. We're through five here at the ballpark. Houston leads this one 28 to nothing. Your Eddie attention, Farmer please. will come on now and pitch for, for the, the seventh time here this Number spring. 27, Eddie Farmer. Digging in to try it again. Betts off for 0 for 2 on the afternoon right so far. Number 50. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One and one. Here's the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And a fastball just a bit up. On deck, there's Adrian Gonzalez. Here it is on three and one. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Here's Adrian now. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Now the Astros are going to get a left-hander up and cranking out in the bullpen. A fastball that finds the outside corner. That's a big pitch right there. Now he's got him 0 and 1. And he still may not be comfortable. Even 0 and 1, he's still a pretty good hitter when he's down the count. This is a big pitch right here. Here's the 0 1 pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he misses there one and two. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Ready to deliver the one and two. And a neck high fastball that time. A runner at first with no outs here. And oh, strike three called on a fastball that looked inside from here, but that's out number one. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Standing in now, Rolando Miranda, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Oh, one here's the pitch breaks is bad as this one's popped up and he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two the batter number 48 third baseman Pablo Sandoval 
Here's the Panda now Pablo Sandoval. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. A dangerous changeup left high but called for a strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Cox is going to get there. And that's the third out. One left for the Red Sox. And as you can see, they are way behind. Vidal Nuno gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Digging in and looking for more, for Gary Astros. Cox. He's Left working fielder. on a three-hit ball game Gary right now. Cox. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Here it comes. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Miranda is under it. He's got it one away. The batter, number 70. Digging in once again, number 70. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Into the windup and the pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Oh, and he misses it. Running hard. He's digging for second. Around second now and headed for third. The relay. Throw won't get him. The right fielder. Well, in his defense, he did have to go a long way to get there, but that's not the problem. The problem is once he arrives, he doesn't catch the dang ball. He knows as well as anybody that he should have brought that one in, and it's going to cost him an error. And we'll see if the pitcher can pick him up. Michael Lee will stand in yet again, and he's looking for history now. We take you back to his last home run. This was his fourth of the ball game, and it needn't be said that five in a game has never been done before. He's set and the pitch. Now this is chopped fouled at home plate. It's 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch. And that slider is almost in the dirt. One out and a runner on third. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's the one and two delivery and the change up is way low that time. All even at two and two here it is swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. A man at third with one away. Outside and a full count three and two. And he takes ball four so he's on and as you know that often means the steal could be in order here. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that three two pitch but he didn't take the bait. First base was open though so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Ready once again, number three. He got under one and popped out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Runners are at first and third, one away. Throws him on the bender there, and he's in the hole 0 and 2. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout, or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. 
looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0-2. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Now another 0-2. And now a double play ball, perhaps, for Pedroia. There's one over to Gonzalez, and they get the double play they needed to get him out of the inning. One left for Houston, but not to fear as they hold a commanding lead. Back here at Minute Maid Park in Houston. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Rafael Montero enters from the pen to begin the frame with a sizable lead with which to work. Montero. Victor Martinez is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Sliced hard on the ground. That gets through, and he'll start the inning off with a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. He was clearly thinking about hitting the ball the now other way. Now they're overloading or overshifting yeah, all on the right Rondon. side, and he just shot the ball the other way and is taking what they give him. I don't know why more guys don't do that. Now some action out in the Houston bullpen as it appears both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. Here's the catcher Yasmani Grandal as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here comes the 1 0 and this is going to find the crowd down the left field line it's a ball and a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. I love how aggressive he is. He's just attacking the zone with the fastball. Here it is. Now he's at 1 2 count. And really, he can go anywhere he wants now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he lays two off strikes. it to even the count 2 and 2. Nobody out, runner on first. And this is fouled back and out of play. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Lee waits on it. One down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Up next for the Red Sox, shortstop John McGill. Striding in once again, John McGill. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Yeah. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Now a swing and a fly ball. Lee is in pursuit. He's there, but oh, he missed it. Well, the bad news is he botched what looked like a routine fly ball. The good news is the runner wasn't able to advance any further than first base. So that's a play that should have been made, but at least it wasn't more than a one base error. Here's Jackie Bradley now. 
And here's a ball hit in the air. Number three ranging into the outfield. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting the designated hitter Brock Holt. Xander Bogarts will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two Xander out here. Bogarts. Nope. Starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. One oh count here it is. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Here comes the two oh pitch. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. This one's blooped out toward right center field, and nobody can get there in time. Base hit. And a relay home, and they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Well, they get the two out RBI, but I go back to that air earlier in the now, inning that set the whole inning 50. up. And the way it's playing out right now, that may really hurt them. Ball one. Ball one no strike. The one and no delivery. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Lee looks up. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field, but that'll do little more than make a dent in this big deficit. Looked like he might just work out of that inning only giving up a single run, but it all comes crashing down on that mistake. Nothing like a three run bomb to change the entire complexion of your day on the mound. Your Dominic Smith please. will come pinch on as a pinch Boston. hitter. Number 24, Dominic Smith. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Maurer sets up. Here's the 1 1. This one's chopped foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Ready on one and two. Lifted the other way out to left center. Cox has a beat on it. And the inning is over. So it's four runs on just three base hits. One error and no one left on base. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. Astros lead this one 28 to 4. Your Dominic Smith will stay in the ball game as he'll take Red over Sox. at first base. Now playing first base, number 24. Number 17 Dominic is on and he'll take Smith. over on the mound now in relief. For the Red Sox, number 17. Joe now base, Wendell is also into the ball game Joe now as he takes over Wendell. at second. Castillo right field, is into the ball game as well as he takes over out in right. 
Your Rafael Lopez is up off the, the benches. Astros. He'll be asked to get Number something 16, started in the home half Rafael of the seventh. Lopez. A high fastball is in there. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. This is on the ground over to first. Smith ranges to his right, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting, number 30. Andy Ibanez will move into the, the on-deck circle now to try to Number get 11. something started here with Andy one gone in the inning. Ibanez. Liner toward right center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That's what you call going to the plate with a game plan. 0-0 oh, oh, count, looking for now a fastball. Batting. He took it right North back shot. up the middle. Carlos Great execution. Correa. Carlos Correa will stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ball game. as we flash you back here to his second home run. This was back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at-bats. First offering on its way. Tapper up the line. That rolls foul for strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a liner, but foul. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Castillo looking up. Gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His third home run of the ball game as the blowout continues. Well, in hockey, they call it a hat trick. Hitting three home runs in one outing is a heck of a lot harder and a lot more rare. He's having an afternoon he'll never forget. Now about it. Here's Albert now. Hitter, Albert. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. The 0-1 delivery. On Albert, couldn't quite keep the weight back that time as this ball is pulled foul out of play. Well, that was an impressive swing. A fastball is able to hit a foul ball home run with it, but it got out in front of it a little bit too much. Timing just a tad off. One out, nobody on. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another 0-2 home. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Neither guy giving in here and they'll do it again. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but Second that at bat was a good indication David to me that Lee. he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Ready for another shot now. David Lee. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. 
Now the pitch. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Miranda racing back. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Eighth inning coming up. The Astros lead it 30-4. to four. Number 41 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 41. Jeff Mathis is into the ball game now here as he takes over behind the plate. Six, Jeff Mathis. Francisco first Cervelli base, is into the game as Francisco well as he's the new first Cervelli. baseman. Brandon Moss is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top Brandon of the eighth. Moss. Yanked on the ground down the line. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And a great job to stick with it here as he gets the first out of the inning. The batter number 48, third baseman, Pablo Sandoval. Here's the panda now, Pablo Sandoval. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right hander has started to warm up out there. Here comes the first pitch back up the middle and that'll get on through into center and he's got himself a one out hit. Well he hung that one and he didn't miss it. That's what you do. Hang up it next and Red bang Dog. it. Second baseman Joe Wendell. Into the box, Joe Wendell, oh, no. as he takes one in tight. Had to scramble out of the way there. It's ball one. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. 1-0 count. Here it is. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Fouled straight back. Oh, right there. Sometimes you can just miss a ball. Doesn't mean you have to swing and miss, but that ball is right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't square it up the way he'd like to. He missed it. Runner at first here, one man out. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Three and two now. Hey, not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Here comes the payoff pitch. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That's the mark now, of a good hitter. You have to make every at bat Monty, count regardless of the score. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He grounds it sharply to third. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back with more from the Grapefruit League after this. Brendan Moss will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Now playing left field. Number 44. Number 77 Brandon enters from Moss. the bullpen to do the now pitching. pitching for Boston. Number 77.
Ben Felipe Coronado is going to grab a bat here as he looks to Felipe try to set the table in the Coronado. bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. And that misses ball one. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2 0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Ball three to a leadoff hitter that can run. Not the greatest way to start this right here. I think right now you really have to start pouring some pitches into that strike zone. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Hey, three of those pitches now were batting. definitely out of the zone, Number but that last 70. pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3 and 0 though. You have to earn that spot. Into the box now. Number 70. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball 1. Working on a good line in this ball game. 3 for 5 thus far. The one and zero delivery, in for a strike. It's one and one. A runner at first with no outs here. Throw over to the bag, and the runner back easily. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Now a throw over to first, and he'll get back in standing. And this is fouled straight back. Now a move over to first and the runner back in standing. Nobody out runner on first. And he takes strike three called on the fastball one gone. A good afternoon of spring training baseball right thus fielder, far as you get a look there at our line score Michael through the first Lee. seven. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Michael Lee. First delivery to him on the way. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Ready with the 1-0. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And that's a fair ball as it'll head for the 326 sign in right. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he now manages batting. to squeak it just Number inside three. the right field line for a well-hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. Kyle Seager, Seager will be called on to pinch hit now, intro. and he'll do it in a Number golden 20. RBI spot as Kyle. he's got two men in scoring Seager. position with only one gone in the inning. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Runners are at second and third with one down. Hey. Looks at a changeup right over the middle.
Here's the one and one delivery. And that misses two and one. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. Throw from shallow right will get him at first, but the run will come in to score. Probably wanted more of that at bat with runners in scoring position, but at least he does the job and brings one home. Maybe the next guy can pick up the runner at third now. At the plate, Jeff Mathis. He'll try to bring in that second run of the inning from third with two down. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. From the stretch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. The 1-1 pitch. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. and one. A man on third with two down. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Two and two count. Here it comes. And this is going to be a foul ball. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. The 2 2 one more time. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Wendell scoops it up. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Astros forced to settle for only the one run. Ninth inning coming up. Houston leads this one 31 to 4. Your Felipe Coronado will stay in the, the ball game now and take over now in left field. Left field. Number 28. Kyle Seeger is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Third base, number 20, Kyle Seeger. Number 19 will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Ready for another chance. John. McGill starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Too high that time with the innings first pitch. It's ball one. Now here's the pitch and a good heater as he just watches this baby a ball and a strike from the windup the one one pitch there's a swing and a ball lifted to left but back in the seats out of play it's one and two ready to deliver the one and two the fastball down near the shoe tops. Set to deal on two and two. Ball three. Three and two now. This is not the guy you want to walk right here. Look, the eight hitter, this could set up a big inning if he gets on. Pitch on the way. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Number 25, center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's Jackie Bradley now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. From the stretch. In the dirt. And now let's see. And he'll be safe at second base. Good instincts to take off there on what would likely be ruled a passed ball. 
Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Now here's a check swing. Did he go around is the question, and yes, he did, says the man in blue. Strike one. Bradley waits on the 1-1. One, one. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Here's the one and two delivery. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Brian Chu will get a chance with the runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. And that misses inside 1-0. One out and a runner on second base. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Two and zero pitch on the way. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. That was a good two zero slider right there. Now you're still sitting two one. I continue to look for that fastball, but that was a nice slider right there. The two and one on its way. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Castillo will be next. Set. Here's the 3 1. Swing and a miss, and the count goes full 3 and 2. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. He pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Cervelli backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now batting, number 38. Into the box now. Castillo, he'll get to take his first cuts here. Ball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Here it comes, one and oh. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Here's the one and one pitch. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Fastball and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Well, the good news is this guy can really it. dial it up First and let baseman. it fly. The bad Dominic. news is sometimes he Smith. overthrows it and has absolutely no idea where it's going. He's in a little bit of a trouble, so we'll see if he can work his way out of this. Hank Conger will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Conger. Lays off 1-0.
The 1 0 delivery. Check swing. No swing, says the home putt umpire. Ball two. Check swing on that fastball right there. Looked like he's ready to tomahawk that bad boy, but he's able to hold up. Ready with the 2 0 pitch. But a fastball that just misses inside. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Taking all the way, and it's 3 and 1 now. He really was struggling. He needed that strike right there. It's been a while since he'd thrown one. That's just not the way he wanted to start this inning. From the belt, the pitch. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. That is just a the great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base Brandon runners any way you can get them. And that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Striding in, Brandon Moss. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the pitch to Moss. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead 0 and 2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. Tons of runs in this one. Houston, 27 hits and people on base all game long. Chris Sale was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time. Time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. Our paid attendance at Minute Maid Park this afternoon, 40,950. The Astros thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely.